Hello and welcome to our listeners across the world. I hope you are well, staying strong and fighting back. This is a Worker Solidarity Movement podcast. Free thinking for free people. Today we're saying ACAB and taking a closer look at the police. The WSM is an anarchist organisation active on the island of Ireland. If you live on the island of Ireland and want to work with us or just stay up to date, register as an email contact at www.wsm.ie forward slash user forward slash register. This is a reading of an article entitled ACAB, All Cops Are Bounded, written in 2015 when the water charges struggle was in full flight. You can read the original article by visiting the WSM website, find the link in the description below. So with that out of the way, let's get stuck in. This photo was taken at Thursday evening's demonstration against the criminalisation of protest. In particular, the arrest of almost 20 people for participating in a two-hour blockade of the Tarnashta three months previously. It shows protesters holding signs saying ACAB. But what does this mean? It means all cops are bastards. We can hear some people objecting already. Not all Gardaí are bad. But please hold on, that's missing the point entirely. ACAB doesn't mean that each police officer as an individual person is nasty, sadistic, dishonest and so on. It means that every police officer is bounded by their job as an agent of the state. And this necessarily causes cops to act like bastards, whether or not they want to. A cop goes to work as a cop, not as an individual. They cease to be John Murphy and become Garda B203. Anonymous Law Enforcement Officer 71032. ACAB means that no matter how nice a person the cop is individually, they must break strikes, attack social movements, execute homophobic, sexist and racist laws, deport and evict people, and even torture and murder, because that is what the police do. Feel free to make a conscientious objection, you will be fired. ACAB is a comment on the institutional role of the police. Far from being a personal insult, it is actually drawing attention away from the cop as a personality and focusing on the cop as a job. Do you really think that every single Garda approves of the dawn raids on Tala residents, pepper spraying people in Jobstown and Kulak, spending their days as private security for Irish Water and the contractors? Do you think every Garda approves of arresting drug addicts instead of giving them medical treatment? harassing homeless people, and all the rest of it? You get the point. Even if an anarchist became a police officer, they could not refuse in order to arrest people attempting to sabotage US warplanes in Shannon Airport. I don't agree, but I have to because it's my job. I.e. all cops are bounded. None of this is to say that some police officers aren't personally obnoxious, corrupt and vindictive. Many certainly are. Neither is it to excuse their actions, especially not particularly horrendous abuses. Power corrupts. It makes people antisocial, snide, grasping, egotistical and prone to be violent. And power attracts the power hungry, so scum rises to the top. In fact, the phrase, one bad apple rots the barrel, couldn't be more wrong. The truth is that one bad barrel rots the apples. The police are an unaccountable power given to one group of people over another, to use force and violence. And that power has been established to maintain the current social order. The state, capitalism, patriarchy and all that other good stuff. Also, the police is a special in-group which separates itself from and puts its own interests above the public. It is not the community protecting itself. It is an alien state body hovering over the heads of the community. All of this has become painfully obvious for thousands of people across Ireland in the struggle against the water charges, though it is in no way new. It is certainly not news to those who are aware of the campaign against Shell in Rossport County Mayo. Patently and Garda Síochána are on the side of the powerful. However, it is a mistake too, as many have done, Blame this on some lack of personal honour among individual Gardaí. It is vital to recognise that the repressive role the Gardaí are playing is exactly why the police was invented. The upshot is that contrary to common belief, the police weren't established by well-meaning people who wanted to make everyone as safe as possible. 
The police were established to crack down on working class activity, slave rebellion, and to put it generally, to shore up the privileged economic position of the elite. With over 100 Gardaí deployed to arrest protesters this week in Tala alone, while thousands of people chronically cannot get a hang of them to deal with antisocial crime, the priorities of the police as an institution are crystal clear. This basic truth is what led author, journalist and socialist George Orwell to say I have no particular love for the idealised worker as he appears in the bourgeois communist mind but when I see an actual flesh and blood worker in conflict with his natural enemy, the policeman I do not have to ask myself which side I am on. These sides are well established. For instance, the police have a long history of beating and murdering workers in strike. So a cop is bounded by their institutional role, but you will have noticed that this of course isn't unique to the police. The same is definitely true of soldiers. In fact, this institutional stricture is a defining feature of our society at large. All corporations are bastards. In a capitalist market, corporations must seek maximum profit or they will be annihilated by competitors. This is basically what is meant by the logic of capital. Whether or not an individual corporate executive is greedy and ruthless, they must act that way or lose their job. This applies to politicians too. To retain their seat, they must play the electoral game with all the ideological compromise and self-promotion that entails. Once in power, they realise they can change very little for the better. As said in a previous article on Syriza's election, the party faces a fundamental political limitation. If the markets don't like their programme, a huge capital flight will cause economic disaster in Greece. If that doesn't work, there will be a coup. This is a historically proven formula, and it's one big reason why change can't come from Parliament. It must come below from social movements. The most general point to take here is that it is much more fruitful to focus on systems and institutions rather than individual personalities. This is a way of looking at the world which has far greater explanatory power. Once you realise this, you stop believing that we just need better politicians, better bankers, better bosses, better police officers and so on and start advocating systemic change. So you'll see from reading this that responding to ACAB with not all cops are bad people doesn't actually make sense. Everyone knows that and it's not the point. All cops are bastards. All cops are bounded. That's been another Worker Solidarity Movement podcast. Thank you for listening. There's plenty more where that came from. So if you like the sound of a world without police battering you with bureaucratic barbarism, then make sure to click the link in the description and visit the WSM website at www.wsm.ie. Take care and see you next time. Another world is possible.